what is thinking? Below is a dictionary definition. I want to focus on a few words that stand out. Working well together and in agreement. Thinking is similar to having a conversation with someone. Each person is making points during the conversation. Both parties want to conclude the conversation by being on the same page or in sync. It is the same with iTunes and the iPad. The user will use iTunes to add and remove information from the iPad. When they tap the sync button, the iPad receives the information from iTunes and makes the changes that the user has specified. In iTunes, tap the iPad icon. This will bring up tabs to manage the information on the device. The summary tab reviews the name of the device, size, battery's current charge, version of iOS, and if there is any updates, and when the last backup occurred. Transfer purchases by right-clicking on the iPad icon in the left column. This makes sure that all the user's purchases are in the iTunes library. Backing up if it has not been done recently is also a good practice before syncing the device. Add photos, music, movies, books, podcasts, and iTunes U classes by clicking on the available tabs at the top and placing check marks by the media you want to put on the device. You can install apps the same way under the App tab. Scroll down to the bottom of the App tab screen to find file sharing options. The user can choose an app and save the file within the app to the PC. Simply choose the app, then the file, and click the Save To button. This brings up a window. Select a folder, then click Save. A user can also add files to an app on the iPad. Choose the app, then the Add To button. When the window appears, go to the folder to access the files that need to be added, then open. The file will appear in the list of documents on iTunes. Once all changes have been made, click the Sync button. The status bar at the top of the window provides what iTunes is doing during the syncing process. Once the process has been completed and no more changes need to be made to the device, click the eject icon next to the iPad in the left column and disconnect the device from the computer.